using Mail Merge in Microsoft Word 2010. Mail Merge is a useful tool that allows you to produce multiple letters, labels, envelopes, name tags, and more using information stored in a list, database, or spreadsheet. When performing a Mail Merge, you will need a Word document. You can start with an existing one to create a new one and a recipient list which is typically an Excel workbook. The main document is linked to the data source by common fields of data called merge fields. For example, in a letter, your main document would be the letter informing the parents to be called for a parent-teacher meeting. The data source is a data list that stores data which is different for all mails. In above example, data sources where the fields of information on each parent receiving the letter are located. The data source would contain names, addresses, phone number, etc. Creating a mail merge document. To create a main document, follow these steps. Step 1. Open an existing letter in Word document that you want to send to different people or create a new document and type a letter. Step 2. From the mailing tab, click the Start Mail Merge command and select Step-by-Step -step Mail Merge Wizard option from the drop-down menu. Step 3. The Mail Merge pane will appear. Now select Letters, Radio button under Select Document Type section. Step 4. Click on Next, Starting Document under Step 1 of 6 section at the bottom of the task pane. Step 5. Choose the type of setup for your letters. Click on Use the Current Document Radio button under the Select Starting Document section. Step 6. Click the Next Select Recipients under Step 2 of 6 section. Creating Recipient List Step 1. To create a new mailing list, select the Type a New List radio button under Select Recipients section in the Mail Merge task pane. Click on the Create option. Step 2. The New Address List dialog box appears on the screen. Click on the Customize Columns button to add or remove fields. Step 3. Enter data in the respective fields and click on the New Entry button located at the bottom left of the dialog box. Enter any four records of students' parents. Click OK. Step 4. You will get the Save Address List dialog. Specify a name in the file name text box and click on the Save button. Step 5. The Mail Merge Recipients dialog box will appear. This dialog box displays the details of all the records added by you. Step 6. In case you want to change any detail, you can select the data source and click on the Edit button located under the Data Source box. When you have done the editing, click OK. Step 7. If you do not want to send the letter to a particular address, just click on that specific checkbox to deselect it. Click OK. Note that by default, tick marks are placed on the checkboxes next to the data source field. It gives an indication that the records are selected. Step 8. Now click on the next Write Your Letter under Step 3 of 6 section in the Mail Merge task pane. Inserting Merge Fields Step 1. Place the cursor at the position where you want to insert the record fields. Step 2. On the Mailing tab, click on the Insert Merge Field button under the Write and Insert Fields group. Step 3. The Insert Merge Field dialog box appears with a list of field names that has been created by you. Step 4. Click on the field name that you want to add and then click on the Insert button. Similarly, insert other fields into the document. Click on the Close button. 
the selected file names will appear in your document one after the another at the place where you wanted to insert it. Viewing the merged data Preview the letters to make sure the information from the recipient list appears correctly in the letter. Step 1 When you are done, click Next, preview your letters to move to Step 5 or you can click on the Preview Results button in the Preview Results group on the Mailings tab. Step 2 The first record will be displayed. Click on Next Record button in the Preview Results group to view the next record of the data source. Step 3 If everything looks correct, click Next, complete the merge to move to Step 6. Printing the letters Step 1 Click Print to print the letters. Step 2 A dialog box will appear. Decide if you want to print all of the letters, the current document, record, or only a select group. Then click OK. Step 3 the print dialog box will appear. Adjust the print settings if needed, then click OK. The letters will be printed 